the reasons behind writing the Meridia, well, you could say that it's simply because I come from Costa Rica, I've always heard about Cocos Island, and I wanted to get an idea of a story that would center around hidden treasure and the romance that that brings in. And that linked in well with the story about Peru, hidden treasure, pirates making their way into the island and depositing the treasure there. Well, merging the idea of the Mary Deer and fact and fiction was an important part in the construction of the novel. Essentially, I wanted to make sure that there was a basis in fact that would keep the reader hooked uh, where he realized that it was not a complete figment of my imagination, that something had really happened. And it just so happens that Cocos Island has forever been linked to treasures from the treasure of the Meridia, which is known as the Lima Booty, to treasures by Morgan and uh, by various other pirates, uh, in, including bloody Benito Blani, uh, Bloody Sword Benito, who's a very colorful chap who was allegedly British and used that as a pseudonym. I wanted um, Elliot Shepard to be my central character right from the beginning. I saw him as being the adventurer who would use the information that he had garnished in order to be able to set off and find all this uh, hidden treasure. Uh, I was fascinated, of course, by the element of the past, by the time period of the war, uh, by the uh, time period, if you like, of uh, the Viceroyship of Spain and the time when the Lima booty had been looted from Peru and smuggled off to Costa Rica and to Cocos Island. That uh, appealed to me tremendously, but I really saw it as set in the 20th century. I wanted it to be right bang up to date. I've always been fascinated by the war years, if you like. I was born in 1942. I'm a child of uh, the war. But I guess having seen so many films, war movies, read so many books, you're always drawn to that period in a sort of uh, cozy way, although there was nothing cozy about the Second World War. <laughs> and I'm sure that if you ever meet, or if one ever meets, uh, any um, people who participated in the war, they don't want to talk about it. So it, this is a romanticized version of an absolute nightmare that happened when Hitler decided that he wanted to do what he wanted to do. The Hitler years have provided us with some amazing villains and the German uniforms are absolutely wonderful for that. You could not invent them. And I think I wanted to use that element of uh, threat of uh, Nazi looted gold, of the, particularly of the threat that was uh, there, ever present for the Jews, and uh, that was one of the reasons. Plus also I thought that the idea of um, bringing in a hero who happened to be Jewish but happened to be fighting for the, for the Germans was uh, a twist that was worth pursuing.